Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a video to update everybody on uh, on my journey. Uh, I had made a video talking about uh, kind of the progress uh, that I had made with the carnivore diet uh, before and I had put it up on my YouTube channel, I had put it up on Facebook and uh, had had quite a bit of good response on Facebook uh, thank you to all of you who uh, have been showing so much support uh, to me on my journey. And I thank you so much for that. I am uh, deeply grateful uh, for everyone who has uh, has been with me along for this journey. Uh, thank you to my pastor. Uh, thank you uh, so much, Pastor Hampton, for you helping me uh, kind of get started in the right direction with wanting to lose, uh, well, not only wanting to lose weight, but doing something about it. And uh, I'd seen that he had been on a diet. It wasn't the carnivore, but it was a different diet and how that he had lost 50 pounds. And uh, he was wanting me to get involved with his diet. And uh, it was too expensive. And I, like uh, my buddy Mitchell had told me about carnivore and I just decided to try it and I bought a bunch of meat and and uh, now I've lost a hundred pounds like on uh, March the 16th I started my carnivore diet journey I was 311 pounds and like that was at my heaviest and now I this morning I weighed in at 211 pounds finally finally and uh it, it's technically like 211 like 0 0.2 but that 0 0.2 doesn't count i've lost 100 pounds and uh i am grateful and i just want to tell you if you are looking at unnecessary weight or, or abnormal amounts of weight on your body and it's affecting your confidence it's affecting how that you feel it's affecting your emotions it's affecting uh the, your overall health and well-being you don't have to stay in the same situation that you're in you can change you can do something um i know that i've made a longer video uh talking about how that i had lost 91 pounds already so i don't want to belabor this point and i am still trying to get to the 200 pound mark that's that's my big goal it's been my big goal since the beginning and i have another goal for after that we'll talk more uh potentially about that but i'd really like to uh to continue forward and to see more and uh, like success with this i think that uh it's just a blessing god is so good that uh i'm still alive you know like i had let myself get uh you know really really bad out of shape um and i'm just grateful for the grace of god i'm grateful uh, for this diet. I'm grateful for carnivore. I'm grateful for the carnivore YouTube space uh, that's kept me encouraged, made sure that I knew what to do and that I, I you know, knew how to make sure to get my nutrients, how, how to get my electrolytes, how to do all of that. Like, grateful for people like Dr. Barry and Anthony Chafee. I've mentioned them before. Uh, grateful for Homestead Howe, uh, like the like even people like the homesick Buckeye like and all, all of that like I I have enjoyed uh, so much and I mean I've learned how to make a pretty decent steak I've learned uh, like how to you know scramble some really pretty looking scrambled eggs I uh, <laughs> am grateful and, and I feel good like and like. I am wearing clothes that don't fit for other reasons now. Like, that's the thing is, like, this is my work shirt from, you know, the beginning. And it used to, you know, just, just you know, button. But now it's like this. So... You know, like that is a major victory. Um, I may try and create some sort of comparison with my uh, first, like, big, like, picture that I kind of been using 
uh, to define kind of how fat I was. Because I, I was 311 pounds. And that, that picture of me in my, uh, like, I think it, like the shirt says, uh, Jesus rules. And he does. Amen. Jesus rules. Like, um, uh, and, and that's the thing is, like, some people, they might think I'm crazy because I did this carnivore thing. Some people might think, oh, well, you know, 100 pounds in seven months is a lot of weight. And, then, like, is that healthy? You're reasonable for having concerns. You're reasonable for doing your own investigation. You're reasonable for that. And you should investigate things for yourself and know if something is right, if something is true, if something is going to work for you. You need to know that. Okay? Do your own research. But the thing is, is this has worked for a lot of people. Thousands of people are having major health improvements because of the carnivore diet. Thousands of people like are making these these major changes. There's people who've reversed type 2 diabetes. There's people who are able to say now that they don't have the aches and the pains in their body. There's some people who've stopped snoring. There's some people who like now... Uh, they don't have irritable bowel syndrome. There's some people who've reversed fatty liver disease. There's, there's uh, some people uh, who have, you know, just had so much radical change that it's changed the way that they're able to live. There's some people who couldn't walk long distances at all because they were too obese and now they can walk long distances. There's some people who can run now that couldn't run before. There's some people... Uh, who can work again that couldn't work before. There's some people who've been bedridden. There's some people who couldn't walk at all. They can walk now. People getting out of wheelchairs and getting mobile because they changed how they ate. <sighs> like, that's amazing. It's not the gospel. It's not what's going to save you in eternity. Like, you need that, you need the born again message of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ being applied to your life in water baptism and repentance and and in Jesus' name for the remission of sins. And you need the Holy Ghost. You need to speak it in tongues. Like, if you don't get the Holy Ghost, like, then you're missing it, man. You're missing it. Like, and I, I know some people. You know, they might click on a video because it's about carnivore and hear the gospel. I want you to hear the gospel because Jesus is for you. He's for you. He died for you. Like, because we sinned, we, we failed. We made major mistakes. We, we failed because we didn't do what we were created to do. We weren't what we were created to be. We sinned. We violated the creative order. We violated the law of God. We, we came and we rebelled against the creator of the universe. And that's a cosmic rebellion. And so we deserved the wrath of God. We deserved death. But Jesus came and took that punishment for us. And now he's resurrected. And because he lives, we can live also. Because he died, we don't have to. And now you can be born again of the water and of the Spirit. You can obey Acts 2.38. And thank you for listening to that. But, like, uh, I want to also, again, just say thank you. Thank you to everyone who supported me on this journey. I'm not done. I want to lose another 11 pounds uh, to get the 200-pound the mark. And then I've mentioned that other goal. I would really like to see about getting down to 180. I know the holidays are coming up. I do plan to do a little bit of cheating on Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I uh, do want to, uh, of course, maintain my weight loss. And I don't want to do anything crazy like, uh, you know, gorge myself. Uh, or anything like that. I'm not looking to uh, go back to my old habits, my old ways. Um, and it's very, very important that I uh, don't do that. But I appreciate you and thank you all so much.